ever I thought you'd scraped every essence, every photo, every morsel of yourself off the internet for good because you were so horrified by your appearance. I mean, that is a natural conclusion, isn't it? Like, you did see yourself, didn't you? Like, you did. You did look it up, didn't you? I was good, right? I I keep telling you, babe, but you don't believe me. And now you're both around three. It's like you love the self hatred or something, isn't it? You're not happy with yourself, so you need to be belittled, bullied by a stranger, by a hairdresser, nonetheless. <laughs> people who are meant to be the nicest people ever. Got any holidays this year? I don't give a fuck, mate. I'm sorry. I don't care. I'm never gonna see it. Wow, well, I say that, but you keep crawling back through the sewers to me like a little rat. You love it. You love me. What can I say? Everybody loves me. <laughs> what do you want then? What do you want? I'm sorry, I'll be sweet. You might not get it anyway. I already think I know what I'm gonna do with you. Yes, yes. A dye job. A dye job because you've got beautiful blonde hair. Beautiful. Whoever did that really knew what they were doing. Right? I'm sure you paid a lot of money. A lot of time and money, trust me. When I say I know going blonde isn't easy, it takes a good few sessions and a good few weeks, doesn't it? Trust me, sis. I know. I feel the pain. Don't worry. Don't you worry about a thing because Bethany's gonna look after you, okay? Okay. She's gonna do you right. And by right, she's going to take you back to your origin. Look at your roots. Your roots are calling out. Calling out to go back to how they were before. Your hair's breaking. Sick to death of the upkeep. The rattiness. Look how damaged your hair is. And do you care? Absolutely not. You do what you want. You don't care about your body, about how much it gives you. You're just like, take, take take on you. Here's some money. Do the best so I can look the best. Well, and that's not how it works around here because I could not care less for the aesthetics. I want you to be fit and healthy and strong. Stop whining all the time. Honestly, you come back to me and it's like you forget. This is a big mistake. I regret this. I need to go. No. No, no, no. You're here now. You're here. And I'd like you to take a seat. And I think you've seen one of these before, haven't you? Yes, this is not your first rodeo, as it says. Okay, we're just going to strip you in. You're a good girl today, aren't you? You got your big boy pants on. You're not scared. But you might be scared. You should be scared. Because I never wear gloves. I normally want to feel everything. All the pain I impart on my clients. Full disclosure. Um, but today, I think I'm going to bring you so much pain, and by pain, I mean permanent black hair dye. The blackest of the black, and I don't really want to ruin my hands. The only thing I want to be ruining is your head. <laughs> your ego. Your, um... Self-esteem, 
Yes, I really need to hit you in your self-esteem because all this is just screaming out, isn't it? Like you're not happy with yourself or the extensions or the fillers or the, the tans. No, we're going to strip you back to basics. And no, I don't mean I've got pin. Maybe I can pin your lips, but I'm not a doctor, darling. I just deal with hair. So today we're going to absolutely wreck it. Let's get started. You're strapped in. So talk to me, why did you come back? My no-nonsense attitude. Wow. For once, someone said something positive. I love it. No, you haven't got much hair. Uh, do you after last time, let's be honest. It's not been that long. I thought you'd really try and grow it out again, but I suppose you didn't want to make it really nice and then come and see me, did you? Because you know I'd just ruin it all. You deserve it to be ruined though. You know that, right? You know that's why you keep coming back. Because you don't deserve nice things. You don't deserve nice hair. You don't deserve to look nice or get nice compliments or even any positive attention. And you know that, don't you? You don't deserve any nice things. And you love your hair, don't you? You love how it makes you feel, how it makes you look, how it perceives in the outside world. It's a strange You're nothing. Your pride and joy. Your favourite possession. There's nothing left. You're ruined. I'm ruining you. Did 
they send you here today because you're a bit more interesting after our sessions oh my god Han. you're boring as hell you're you're here from your partner's demand because you're a dull boring bitch it keeps getting better it keeps getting better I love it come back all the time I could bring him me and him will get on like a house on fire, I'm sure. Is he bald? Dreamer. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your hat and steal your man. That's so fun, isn't it? We can really bond over this. Because I am so much better than you in every single way. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've got hair, for one. I've got both. Blonde and brown. Whatever takes your spice of life. It's looking horrible. And I'm just gonna let it sit. Let it sit for a good, a good amount of time. A good chunk, maybe an hour or two. No, I've not, I've not cleaned up the edges at all. So you're gonna have like a big band. Just straight around your head. Isn't that nice? Isn't that just the fun dabby dozy? Like I said, you rely on your looks too much. You rely on your beauty, your outside shell so much, and yet your inside is rotten. As rotten as a decaying corpse, I'm afraid. I can smell it from here, to be honest. It's, it is a little bit off-putting. Yeah, you're dull, you're boring, you gotta go. You need a new, it's not just your hair at this stage, hon. You can come back to me as many times as you like if you don't fix that horrible personality. That icky feeling I get when I look into your soul, like you just are not. You're a horrible person, I can feel it in my bones. You're disgusting. You like horrible things. You like hurting people. Everything you do is a fuck up. And your outside needs to reflect the inside. A wasted, lost fuck up. Do you understand? Do you see now? I make you ugly only to match your interior. I'm doing the Lord's work, huh? What can I say? Ask and it shall be delivered. No, you're not going anywhere. You're not done yet. You're s hun, have you seen? You're strapped in. <laughs> Trust me, this isn't my first rodeo and people have tried to get out before, okay? So trust me when I say this, there is no way you're going anywhere and it's a waste of time and energy to even do this dance right now. You need to sit there, understand what a vile person you are and see your outside transform. Transform. Isn't that a revelation? Isn't that a weight lifted off of yourself? No, I think it is. I think your partner will agree and I'm sure I'll see you both really soon as well. So I'm actually quite bored of this conversation. You're not giving anything back. To be honest, you're dull. I see it now. You're just crying. You just cry. There's no spice from you. There's no I need a rapport, I need, I need your man. I need to get your man in. Just to chat shit about you. <laughs> Maybe while you watch. Sort of like a cuckold situation, but in reverse. That's an idea. Yes, I'm done with you now. Yes, interesting thought to ponder. 
Dreamy. Game okay, job. 